from uh, Curry's. Changed my mind again, TV's back on the wall. Although I am going to get a slightly different uh, bracket, I think, on the back. Haven't decided yet. Or we'll see what's wrong with that. Obviously, it just keeps like drooping down a little bit. Just needs tightening up, I suppose. Um, what else have I done? In oiled, sanded down and oiled the worktops. Just getting a slight rub down. Wipe the excess oil off. And uh, I'm repeat that process two more times. So tomorrow I'm going to give it a little sand down and uh, another oil. And the day after, exactly the same. They're looking nice. Make just have a little drink. Just going to get the rubbish out, put it into the bins. Um, I've got Dean coming tomorrow, who's an electrician. I want him to have a look at putting, as I said, a couple of plugs, one there and uh, one under there. And also want to be able to run them off the inverter, off the 240 volt, so see what it suggests. And I also want him to um, look at the light and all these, where are they? Them. Those uh, down lights, which I don't particularly like. I'm gonna find out if we've got any alternatives for that. Yeah, get some down lights just in the cabin area. Um, I've also put some masking tape down there along the edge and I'm going to stain the skirting board tomorrow. And on Saturday, the oven is going to be installed. This was the last lock that I came to on my journey from Ramsey. Saturday morning a few weeks ago. I saw that in the distance, so I was very happy. Very proud of myself for doing all the 29 locks on my own. Such a beautiful spot. Look how clear the water is there. Shadow. The abundance of fishes as well in such a small area. Beautiful. Come on. You got in, you can get out. Come on. Oh, you don't. Come on. Thanks for that. Feel better now? Meg just uh, going in for an impromptu dip. It's rather warm. Just on the um, part of the Nen Way, which is uh, quite a long distance footpath. There's 110 miles between Northampton and Lincolnshire along the River Nen, which begs the question, how would you pronounce it? Nen or Neen? It's interesting seeing that um, yellow checkered device there, that's um, a sensor that picks up if anyone's in the yard and uh, going towards the containers to steal things and that'll alert the police that someone's uh, broken into the, the perimeter. This is uh, a big quarry that's near the marina. I don't really hear any noise from it, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. That's the quarry. Now back to the marina. It's beautiful. Next enjoy the walk, a little 
swim. Can't wait to get back out on the river, up to the canal system, hopefully in August once the uh, new solar has been fitted. This has been today's job, using uh, this dark oak wood stain with uh, the skirting boards. That side and that side. Do all this stuff out there. It's quite good. It's a water-based one, so I've got to uh, faff around with any thinners to clean the brush now. I've also had Dean, the uh, electrician, come down to discuss um, the power supply that I'm going to have on the boat. I've got the. Um, solar panels being changed over in August but what I want to be able to do is to run more stuff off the the inverter so I've got 240 volt in the um, kitchen so I can run a, a mixer off of it also my coffee machine and have 240 available um, when I'm sat there at the end with my laptop um, and also to discuss getting rid of these lights and putting something a little bit nicer in um, all switched up so uh, great guy knows all of his uh, amps and watts and all that sort of thing, which I'm, I'm not uh, the best with. But uh, yeah, he's going to do that. Um, run a main or a ring main through the boat um, and connect up all the sockets and switches that I need. So I've just got to find some nice lights and things, and uh, yeah, he's going to sort that for me. Very good. Ignore the bubble wrap. I just looked up there while I was having a drink, and uh, it's a lovely sky. Reminds me of the Simpsons. There's Maggie. You don't like it too hot, do you? She's getting a haircut on Tuesday, so uh, you should see a transformation from that to a uh, short haired Meg. Look at that old kite. Very in the air. Stern on my boat, so it's like having my own fish pond. Okay. 
beautiful. and drive on the tractor. Bailing up all the hay. Monday the 10th of June, had a lovely weekend, my partner came over, we did uh, a couple of things, went out for a nice meal, went for a nice walk yesterday, though it got really hot, um, been up quite early today, because the uh, temperature is going to get up to about 33, so they reckon. Um, what happened over the weekend, we went down to the boat on Saturday, um, a guy called Gary come ho over and he's uh, installed the oven um, made sure that was safe he pointed out in the gas locker I've got um, a, a bubble tester which I didn't realize I had so he showed me how that works and advised me when to use that um, so yeah I've just been sat outside this morning watching all the birds just took a couple of pictures of um, some magpies down there I've never seen so many on a gate at one time and it was about 10 all, all in all so I'll uh, edit the pictures and put them up just so you can have a quick look at those but um, yeah I'm going to the boat this morning I've got uh, a load of sockets uh, arrived and down lights which um, another guy called Dean from Bow to Stern he's coming uh, along at some point he's going to do a rewire on the boat um, so I've got two new mains down the, the, the length of the boat um, and that's going to mean I can run 2.40 in the galley whenever I want so if I want to use my coffee machine um, I can just use that just without having to turn the engine on which I've had to do previously because the only 2.40 was the um, TV and that was the only thing I could run off the inverter so I'm going to get that changed up um, so the solar's still coming in August, that's going to be on the 16th, and Gary's going to, no it's not Gary, Dean's going to come and do like a switch so I can run off um, the solar, the inverter or um, the uh, travel pack that I've got on the boat. So yeah, it's all going to uh, be exciting. And I've decided what tiles I'm going to get, but I'll show you those when we go down to the boat in a minute. Bye. So here we are back down the boat. Um, lovely hot day, it's just about 10 o'clock, something like that. It's really, really warm. I've got the uh, hatches open, a bit breeze through, and also the uh, pram hood, the way doors open is that. But this is the um, tile I'm going for. It's worked it out, I'm going to need um, three and a cut each side along the walls. So, one tile comes about there, so there's going to be a little cut. That's obviously going to be one tile as well. So, four and a bit per side. And I've got two boxes which uh, will easily cover that. And I'm thinking, I don't know yet, whether I'm going to go like an extra tile or two up this side. I don't know if that will look good or not. So, just a little idea. So, the oven is in. Looking fabulous. The hobs are all set and working now. I haven't got the inverter on. I need to get that on to uh, make it click. Try that again. We have gas. It looks as though I've got that uh, 
Also got the um, new bracket, which comes with a tiny little spirit level. That's quite handy. Not, well, probably not so handy on a boat because everything's uh, clips. Assembly job. There it is. It's flat to the wall or it um, tilts out, so uh, we'll get it on the wall now. Have a look. There we go, you got that up. Quite easily, very versatile. Can uh, spill this one in. I'm cooking. These are the sockets of uh, orders. Got these plain ones, and also some with USBs on, which will go into the saloon area. The plain ones are going to go in the kitchen. One there, on the other side, behind the coffee machine. These are the um, LED 12 volt down lights that are going to be recessed into there uh, just to get rid of these plastic things and now the switches I'm going to use I've also bought two of these um, little reading lights that I'm going to put um, down there somewhere just so I can sit on the sofa and read uh, without any of the lights on just this one Pretty cool it's a little switch exciting I'll get all these pictures and see what it looks like. I've also ordered some clean lights to go down there. And there, to light up, but they're not coming until um, tomorrow, I think. But I'll show you those when they arrive. Just cleaned off the um, back of the splashbacks, or what it's going to be. They're all level now, no bumpy bits. I'm going to uh, have a go at sticking the tiles on. Yeah, uh, adhesive onto the tile. I'm only having one row of these. Can you see how that goes up? That's the first one done. You hear like sucking onto the wood behind, so I think it's going to come away. I've just got those spaces, just going to be a bit of a space at the bottom so we can get some uh, silicon in there. Number two on. Looking good. Need one more to go. Can't do the rest because I haven't got a tile cutter so uh, those end bits. Anyway I can't do those until the sockets are in place. There we go. The back tiles on. I really like those. I'm going to tie them well with the units when I take the covering off, they're a nice grey colour. And i um, almost chosen what colour grey I'm going to have for the bottom of the boat. And uh, the top's going to be lighter than these two maybe. Yeah, I'm really pleased with these. I'll let that dry off and uh, do the grouting tomorrow. The tiling done so far as I can today. Yeah, I want to wait to uh, get that little bit cut there. You have a socket just in there and also under there. That's got to be cut right down that time. Yeah, it's getting quite warm on the boat. It's uh, 85, 86 degrees. Meg's in the best spot, keeping out even cool. I'm really pleased with these. That's it for today. I've um, done what I wanted to do, got the TV up, started the tiling, which is looking cool. And uh, swap the boat up, gonna get Meg home now and uh, get in the cool, it's a really hot day today. What's the temperature now? It's touching 90 inside the boat. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's probably gonna be the end of this video. Um, 
and I put a couple of pictures I took of uh, some of the birds and things and also a little video I took at mine where I had uh, a buzzard, a kite and a kestrel all having a bit of an air battle. See you soon, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.